Well, putting this episode together has been a bit of an adventure, but here we are, episode 20 of the third series of the Haiku P podcast. I'm Patricia, and I'd like to welcome you all to a special podcast, written by the community. This time, you've been taking in your surroundings, looking for haiku that could be found in your everyday life. How is that different from a normal haiku? Well, in this case, you found your words in the writing of others and put the words together to form haiku and senryu of your very own. You found them in the most interesting places. Other pieces of literature, music, video, t-shirts, road signs, public services, even bags. I've enjoyed reading them and thank you for increasing my reading list. Wherever needed, you'll find the source of the inspiration in the show notes, as well as all these wonderful verses. Some of you have asked if I can read out the haiku twice. I honestly wish that were possible, but for practical reasons, I just can't. However, you do have the haiku in the show notes, so you can read them over and over as often as you like. You can even read them out loud. And don't forget... I'm taking submissions for the next topic, social issues, until the 1st of November in 2020, just in case you're coming to the podcast late. Remember, no politics, please. Before I read this month's terrific submissions, let me just thank you for my coffees. I really appreciate you taking the time to go to the website and buy them. Thank you. Last month, I used my coffee money to say thank you to my husband for all the work he does on the website and the podcast. We were on holiday in Spain, in Andalusia, and the little town we go to has beautiful beaches, and on the beaches are some lovely little chiringuito, refreshment stops. And when we weren't out following the footsteps of Hemingway or Brennan or Woolsey, we wandered down to the beach and had our coffees. People watching to the sound of gently lapping waves Thank you. I haven't had the time to find any previously published work. Sorry. But you won't be disappointed. I've got some fine work for you. The poets' names will be read after their work, but if you're in any doubt at all, just check out the show notes on the website. I'm going to start the podcast with quite a punchy little verse from Christina Chin. Hysterectomy, the first home of her children they just took out. Wild East, sound and fury, local girls, Trey Trefoil. Clover, another bunny's ears, and another. Jonathan Roman. The poet who suggested the topic for this week is in this little section, Roger Watson. Thanks, Roger. Fresh faces, cold, sweet flowers, flakes in the darkness. Joan Barrett. Something pipes in the trees, a regular note. Roger Watson. Storm clouds, I spread out my joy on the grass. Debbie Strange. Daylight thrush. In the morning song, a river flows. M. Shane Pruitt. Even today, the wind is always strong in the environs of Mount Fuji. Ian Speed. In the webbed feet of the world, a wet morning. Vandana Parashar. Silent spring, 
Earth in the Balance Bona M. Santos Purple blossoms fall into black-blue sky, a giant panda. Nikki Gutierrez I love the alliteration in that one, don't you? Everything nourishes what is strong already. B.A. France In all my dreams I hear lake water lapping. How sweet the sound. Jenny Wynne Hyatt Iceberg, silence taking the world. Valentina Rinaldi Adams Morning Lament, The Wind, Such a Rainy Sound, Richard Sharma. The Last Flowers of Manet, Beautiful and Pointless, Lorraine Padden. Knee Deep in Honeysuckle, The Mare Noses Her Golden Foal, Angela Terry. Enamelled vessel, a rapid swing of the stern, watch the flight of birds. Sarah Bint Yusuf. And now a poet new to us. Gleaming white in the path of the moon, restless silver. Rosalind Horobin. My sodding garden. Christ, I'm feeding birds the shits. Awful early weeds. Peter Adair Clearing the grasslands for another sowing. Buffalo hunters. Art Friedine Pine wind. The sad sounds of a hill station. Shrinivas S. And this next one reminds me of my holidays, watching the ships cross the Mediterranean. But I know Robert's ships are much further north. Dusk has gone with the evening star, a lone ship light. Robert Horobin. In this next section, we'll meet a poet new to the podcast, Nika. Now, Nika has an interesting hobby. He spreads the joy of haiku via postcards. And I'm hoping we can arrange for him to come onto the podcast soon and tell us a little bit about it. Beginning with the word, God. James Young. Teachers are special. Bless this mess and other prayers. Barbara Carlson The listeners in a fish and chips queue at lunchtime. Mike Gallagher And for regulars to the podcast, you might know that one's based on one of my favourite ever poems. Daring to Dream of love, maybe some day. Riam El Ashri. Mindfulness is better than chocolate. Tiny Buddha's Zen moment. And Jali Wahad Pandey. Geography, getting older, getting older. Pearl. Drawing circles, the eternal whirling of wind vanes. Anna Maria Domberg, San Cristoforo. Dusk through narrow streets, smoke that rises from the pipes of lonely men. Marion Clark. Painting landscapes in oil, her voice still there. Craig Kittner 
a large stone, on sheets of paper, a shapeless face. Nika. Rhythm, the way in which we all suffer. Maya Deneva. Conversation, time sandwiched with stories. Dorothy Burroughs. A monk swimming far beyond the field. Veronica Zora Novak. Next up, a little musical interlude. Autumn leaves drift by my window, red and gold. Richard Bailey Ticket to ride, the long and winding road, she's leaving home. Rob McKinnon White bird in a golden cage, the leaves blow. Richard Tice Snap your fingers, a deep orange, now the wind. Mark Gilbert Blue lagoon, sea breeze, mermaid mule. Cyril Soliman Early fog, morning glories turn the other cheek. Erin Castaldi South Rim, bluish purple spikes of lupin signal summer. Kathleen Tice, don't you just love the S's in that one? For fall foliage, New England can't be beat. Mix of brilliant colours. Linda L. Krishka. Many of the haiku that were submitted this time made me smile, and in this section, I hope you'll find yourself smiling along with me. Helen Buckingham, a poet new to the podcast, brings us a little bit of British humour. I wonder how it translates across the globe. I'm sure you'll let me know. The price of trespass might surpass the penalty indicated. Richard Hargreaves Young Guns, Pretty in Pink R.P. Verlaine An elderly woman moves among all the naked men, sweeping up the trash. Doris Lynch Motorcycle, Tape Your Registration to Rear Window Elaine Wilbert There's a little story behind that one but I'll let you go to the show notes to read it. Berlio, March to the Scaffold, Bitter Divorce, Ronald K. Craig. Scrawled in marker pen across her kiss-me-quick hat, On your head be it, Helen Buckingham. Coronavirus Lockdown, Puppies from Animal Shelter Visit Aquarium Eddie Girl Before a Mirror Picasso's Lover and Her Reflection Catherine E. Winnick A Cotton Bag Number one Asian food delivery saves the planet. Lekker Desai Morrison. Ancient flavours that time doesn't change. Trip to Liguria. Daniela Misso.
Riots. School bells ring again. Zara Mugis. My abode, all my life not mine. Willie R. Bonkeron. Crime and Punishment, the Hero of Our Time Eugene Monegan Rose Feather Pillows for Sale, In-Store Pickup Only Wendy C. Bialik Planet Earth, on the edge, the darkest goodbye. Tracy Davidson. Fleur du Mal, like underground water, elegies in blue. Alex Fife. Have you had a busy morning, being juicy? Marilyn Ward. New potatoes, loving their cool hardness in our hands. Kim Russell Frightening all reason out of the air. The mine's cabbage garden. Bishy Sweet Cranberry, fall in love with autumn all over again. Nina Singh Garden Friends, on hot nights a star is born. Hannah Hulbert Light, earthy complex, worthy of worship, a great wine. Robert Kazeda Poppy Seed Cake, Grandma's Goodies, Home Fragrance, Ava Drobner. Sadly, we've come to the end of the podcast today. The last section left me a little bit peckish, how about you? So I'm off to the kitchen for a snack. Thanks for coming along and listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And special thanks to all the wonderful poets we've heard from today. Where would the podcast be without you? Next time, the topic is social issues. Deadline 1st of November. Please email your submissions to me. The contacts are on the website at poetryp.com. And if you've never done it before, don't worry, I don't bite. The next podcast is the first Monday of November, when Craig Kittner returns for the second part of our chat. And of course, we'll have a new Renku and a reading. So until then, keep writing. If there's something incorrect in the show notes, or I've left something out that you'd like to know, just email me and I'll get back to you. Ciao.